What's going on guys? Happy Sunday. Welcome back by the channel. We uh, did the unboxing the other day on the carbon fiber vent hood for the Camaro. Today we're going to be installing that carbon fiber vent hood. Now I've already looked at the vent hood underneath and uh, it looks like it bolts up correctly except for there's one bolt in the middle of the OEM piece that is not on the vent hood. So that may be why that they put the 3M tape in there to add that little bit of extra support. So we're about ready to find out. We're gonna get the hood up on the car and we're gonna get ready to uh, replace this bad boy. So with all that being said, guys, let's get busy. All right, everybody, we're getting ready to take the uh, hood vent off what you'll need for this to do this job is a small three inch extension no big deal a socket wrench and a 10 millimeter socket i'm using a deep socket just because of the way that that uh, is set up but you i guess you could use a short one if you wanted to you're also gonna need one of these pry tools. They can be picked up pretty much anywhere at any uh, auto parts store. And there are clips that actually hold the stock one in place. And we're gonna need this to get the, uh, get up underneath there and get that out. And then you've got the, uh, and this towel I'm gonna use to keep some scratch in the finish on the uh, car when I remove them. So let's get these off right quick. They are not, oops, wrong way. They are not hard to get to, which is a good thing. Lay those over here. There's only five bolts that we've got to remove. The hardest thing I'm sure will be getting those clips out. Hopefully not. We might get lucky. This plate comes right off. You will reuse this plate. Um, and you will be reusing these uh, a few of these bolts that are on the stock piece. Well, looks like it might actually come up. Let's see what we got here. Take the pry tool and go around. Pop the corners up. And it will come right off just like so. All right. Now, you're gonna need these pieces. So, let's get those, let's get these off. And they just slide out of their little groove. <clears throat> and I think you're only going to use four of them because the new piece does not have the center one here but we'll take it out anyway just to make sure that we don't use it, but I'm pretty sure we're not gonna use that. So anyway, here's the stock vent on the hood. We're gonna set it off to the side. 
make sure we don't lose it. And we've got to do just a little bit of alcohol prep. So we're going to use the same towel. Um, if you've got those alcohol prep wipes, they're great. I'm currently out of them, so any kind of uh, rubbing alcohol or anything acetone, anything of that nature will work just fine. It looks like when they painted this at the factory, they put the uh, the vent hood or the hood vent in before the paint or something because you can see where the paint is missing. Oh well. Quality work, right? All right, here's our new piece. I have already removed the uh, red taping around here because I fight with that so much. I figured I wouldn't do bore you guys with that and and do it on camera. So I went on ahead and removed that. I'm going to slide these pieces. into place I may put a piece of uh, I may put a piece of uh, 3M tape right down the middle of this since we are not using that holder. Cut it too long. That's probably not necessary to do this, but it won't hurt just in case. Ah, uh, I hate this stuff. Give that a second to dry. Kind of cold out here in the shop today. But what do you expect in January in North Carolina? Right. Thirty minutes later, well, didn't quite take that long, but it wasn't very easy. If any of you guys have got a good tip on how to remove that blasted stuff, please drop it in the links down below. I would greatly, greatly appreciate that because it is awful for me. <laughs> All right. That just drops down into place. We'll pull on it here for just a minute to make sure that the tape that I that I had adheres to it. All 
All right, and like I said, this middle piece right here does not have that little hook for that screw, so we're not gonna be able to use that. That's why I put this extra piece of tape on here. We may not need it, but sometimes it's better to err on the side of caution than, than not. So, let me get this up here. Take this one, let's see. Let's take a look, make sure we got everything covered that needs to be covered. Looks like we're on straight. So, I'm gonna tighten her down. You don't wanna get it too tight because we are talking about carbon fiber here. And you don't want to crack it. So, We'll just get some snow. I think. Well, I think it looks pretty good, guys. Uh, it's true carbon fiber. Uh, extreme online store only sells true carbon fiber, so I think it turned out pretty good. What do you think? I'll drop their link and drop your comments in the uh, description below. Thanks. Well, it looks like we've made it to the end of another video. On a scale of one to five, five being the hardest, this was probably a one on the difficulty scale. There was a little bit of problem with the GoPro in my filming, but hey, I'm getting used to it. I don't know what the problem is with that thing, but you know, sometimes I just wanna just, hmm. But we didn't come here to talk about that. Guys, we've got a lot more planned for the Camaro. We've got other plans for other vehicles. We've got something different coming up too that uh, so many people might be actually interested in. We're gonna start work on that tomorrow. We're gonna do some filming and uh, we'll be getting that video up shortly. So stay tuned for that. We've got more coming. Again, I think this made a great accent piece for the Camaro. You guys who own the Camaros, the Fords, the Dodges, and you know, you like adding those little personal touch pieces to your car to make it your own. So that's what I'm doing on this car. Doing a little bit along, we've got a few more pieces to do. They'll be upcoming in some future videos. And like I say, we've got another type of vehicle that we're fixing to start doing some work on. So stay tuned for that. Guys, appreciate you stopping by. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe, clang on that notification bell, and we will see you on the next one.